respected students welcome back everyone see today's video is about sql theory questions which are asked in interview especially first round which is there so around 10 questions i have covered and uh, we will be covering that 10 questions properly i will explain you in detail so see in sql when they are asking in interview so mostly uh, they are telling you to write the query practically about joins or subquery but theoretical questions are also there related to SQL we think only theoretical questions are related to data concepts or power bi but SQL is also there so that top 10 questions we are going to cover right now in this video okay so if you are new to the channel make sure you are subscribed and pressing bell icon for all upcoming videos and follow us on social media so there are 10 questions which I have uh, found so the first question is subsets in SQL this is the 100% asked question this question is asking first round only not in second first round only they will be asking for freshers also they will ask or for a guy who is having experience of one or two years they will ask this question to check your basics so see there are five types of subsets in sql uh, ddl dml dql dcl and tcl so see while explaining this uh, question or while answering this question uh, first tell that there are five types and first is ddl then expand it like ddl stands for data definition language so in that create alter drop this is what sql functions are there like creating of table or dropping of table okay you know that we can uh, drop let me show you practically create alter how we write see huh. so see like this create table what we have done now this falls under this falls under our ddl command okay if you are dropping then it falls under uh, ddl only data definition language then uh, again dml is there data manipulation language update insert okay update is like when we create the scheme of table if you want to add the data then we can add uh, sorry uh, insert is like uh, if you want to add the data then we can insert it but after adding the data if you want to update it change it then we use update ddl stands for data definition language which is related to schema of the table check a number of columns and all those three number of rows but data definition languages data manipulation languages whatever there is uh, whatever we have to add in our table data or already whatever it is added if you want to change that then it is related to data manipulation language dml dql is data query language is like uh, select star that statement select star from uh, whatever our uh, table is there like students table employees table transaction table so select star from uh, that uh, line what we what we write it data query language then dcl is related to security okay data control language giving of the access granting the access to someone else users clients or our developers or qa person and again revoking it back okay in that access also then admin and all those uh, types of access are there only viewer or all those things but data control language is completely related to security this this question is always asked in interview for second round that which subset in sql is related to security wise huh? this work is completely of sql developer that to advanced level sql developer senior sql developer okay those who are junior or basic level of sql developer they work on these first three things ddl dml dql but those who are senior developers or technical architects or um, like delivery manager and all those they work on this last two dcl and tcl so data control language is completely related to security now coming to tcl transaction control language commit rollback save point okay transaction control language is commit rollback save point like if uh, committing we are then rollback save point is like 50 percent of work is there then the, that will be saved there Okay, rollback is you, you are completely rolling it back. Okay, so these are five subsets in SQL. Now, second question. This is the simplest question what I think. And it will be also 100% asked. What is the difference between union and union all? So see, there are two tables. First of all, union and union all is same as append queries in Power Query Editor. You know that. Okay. Uh, so, when we are appending on you doing union union all on two three tables whatever it is okay 
so when we are merging that the number of columns data type and name of the column must be same this is these are the prerequisites of union and union all number of column uh, name of the column and data type of column so if when you are doing union so if you are merging two tables huh? so whatever duplicate records are there complete duplicate records which are there complete huh? not just one cell complete line which is duplicate so that will be neglect, neglected in union but in union all that will be shown okay so for example if table 1 has 4 rows table 2 has 5 rows and uh, for example if one row is uh, duplicate now so union will remove that row neglect that row but union all will take that row okay What are acid properties? See, this is not 100% asked question in interview, but uh, again, I have written purposely because you should have little bit uh, basic knowledge about these acid properties. If if they will ask, at least you should be able to uh, tell the full form of the acid. Like A stands for atomicity, C stands for consistency, I stands for isolation, and D stands for durability. At least if this full form, if you are able to tell now. Somewhere it will help you, but I will tell you, like see in that A, automaticity na, what it does that it ensures the transaction is means single unit, whether it is treating treating it as single unit, and it completely <coughs> completes entirely or not at all. This automaticity what is there, whether it is uh, it checks that whether it is treated as com uh, single unit. And if it is happening completely or not at all. Consistency is again if any data is like written must be valid according to means we pass constraint triggers everything you know constraints is not null and that check and all those things identity are there constraint. So whatever data we have written it must be valid according to the uh, whatever the rules are defined especially for constraints that is consistency. Isolation is again uh, controlling the level like uh, visibility of intermediate transaction states to other transaction okay. and durability is uh, for example if once transaction has been committed uh, even it means it will remain properly there even if system is failure failing or all those things are happening whether that durability is there once it is done committed completely it should remain properly even if anything happens that is durability these are the acid properties in sql you can listen and make the notes from it or at least if this full form if you are knowing then it will help you so again uh, you know fourth question filter functions are there then where and having clause is there so what is difference between where and having clause see uh, i will show you this practically see you only understand from your Okay. Now let me uh, show you. So now you only see. Write a query to face the number of employees working in department HR. So select count where department is equal to HR. Okay. Where then again down we will go. See uh -huh. salary we had to find. We had to find the count salary between 50,000 to 1 lakh. So select count salary where salary between 50,000 to 1 lakh like this we have written so what is where doing it is filtering based on that one singular condition see like uh, employee name like starting with s these are the uh, wildcard like functions see again here between two dates we have found that okay and now having i will show you see write a query to retrieve duplicate records from table having count star more than one group of where where is used for that singular condition what we have to follow having is used for like group grouping of conditions it is filtering only but on grouping of the conditions one more we, we, we can see i think we are in we may have one more i see again here group by having when having will come then group by will definitely come tell this in interview and grouping see less than two whatever it is so here i have written that 
in case you have to see that on particular condition use where and on group base then use having simple in simple two three lines you can tell this in interview now again what is sql see first of all uh, this is very simple question it is asked for pressure only so i have added that purposely so sql stands for structure query language and see it is a database language let me tell you in short uh, you can communicate with data with sql whether it is sql is there snowflake is there azure databricks is there then many in sql only azure sql and mysql everything is there snowflake is rising azure is rising aws is there from backend so whatever these database languages are there okay so first of all we communicate with data with the help of it their view store procedures are made all those things are there uh, see here for managing data stored in relational database relational database means that in table structure and all those things again there uh, mostly are structured data is only there are structured means proper data in form of table columns data type derived properly like this it is there it is a programming language used to communicate with data the full form is structured query language what is indexing and its type see again uh, this is also not 100% asked question but i have taken it see uh, it improves the speed okay uh, whatever the tables we have made or sometimes while creating report we create sort procedure views and all those things so it helps uh, to improve the speed of data remains if we are fetching the data and all those in our reporting tool or while working on sql so that time uh, for improving the speed and all those things query optimization we make this uh, use of indexing there are two types cluster non cluster most important thing see here whenever you uh, see here this characteristics in cluster index follow these things uh, means tell this thing in interview only one cluster index is allowed per table but in non cluster multiple non cluster index can be created on single table this is the main thing we what you should tell in the interview the, what are the purpose improves the performance of range query uh, for non cluster speeds up the retrieval of data without altering the physical order of table okay it is not altering the physical order whatever the chronology is there it will keep it but the main thing what you should tell when uh, asking uh, when if interviewer asks about indexing that for improving the speed of data retrieval we are using indexing two types cluster non cluster in cluster only one cluster index is allowed per table but here multiple non cluster index are can be created on single table tell this thing now what is sub query a query inside a query is sub query okay let me show you practically this once again see you can check this 257 to 262 select star from then again bracket and then select this was a query 257 was a query select star from but inside that also one more query they have added a query inside a query is sub query why we use if you have to uh, just a minute let me huh. for example if complex and all those things we have to find in that case we use we have to use sub query and multiple queries uh, means whatever if uh, any ask is there and we need to write multiple queries or we have to find calculation all those things so in that case sub query is used again two types are there uh, see first of all there are many types but i have only added two types here single row sub query and multiple row sub query in single single row returns one row and one column commonly used with comparison operators like see these are the examples select are from employee where uh, salary is greater than select average of salary this is single row sub query multiple row is uh, returns multiple row but typically one column used with operators in all means like that our in any and all you can see the example select name from employee where department in select id from department where location is new york it is like that power bi tax only Okay, so these are the multiple row sub query. So whatever the motto is there for while using sub query that uh, if you are to find complex 
uh, level uh, requirements are there in that case we use subquery tell that and they tell these two types the eighth question is uh, what are the windows function and its types again windows functions are aggregate operation for each row and uh, it always returns in detail result whatever it is like means uh, you all know that mostly aggregation ranking function we use sum average count is there min max is there okay again in ranking row number rank dense rank let me show you this practically once again see this aggregation function sum min max okay select sum of employee salary as total from employee then then min max count everything and then for ranking i will show you again see this we write this type like means for example if you had column like values and then we pass row number is like 1 2 3 4 5 dense rank rank is there this falls under windows function then one more like value lag lead these all are there uh, what are temporary tables uh, i will explain you here only just wait a minute see temporary tables are of two type first is local second is global see whenever we create table we just write this name but here see this hashtag is used in local we use singular hashtag in global we use double hashtag okay these are the temporary tables created only and uh, whenever we close this complete sql na it will automatically get vanished that's the reason why it is known as temporary table but temporary table will work uh, sorry local table this first local table will work on this session only whatever sql query 1 ठीक है बट ग्लोबल टेबल ऑफ टू हैशटैग विल कैन वर्क ऑन दिस अदर सेशंस आल्सो और इफ इफ आई डू दिस न्यू क्वेरी सो सो ग्लोबल टेबल विल वर्क हियर आल्सो बट लोकल टेबल विल वर्क ऑन दिस ओनली एंड व्हेनेवर वी क्लोज कंप्लीट एसक्यूएल देन ऑटोमेटिकली बोथ ऑफ देम विल गेट वैनिश ठीक है दिस कोड विल रिमेन बट इट विल गेट वैनिश फ्रॉम दिस डेटाबेस दिस इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन <coughs> local and global table one hashtag double hashtag don't work in different session works in different session now what is the difference between view and materialized view you know that this is a 100% asked question so in case of data storage view does not store do not store data materialized view do okay like on premises on local and all those things and data freshness view always reflect the latest data materialized view need to be refreshed to reflect changes in the base table see that's the reason why views are made and in power bi tableau whatever is there we fetch the views not the tables okay that create table employee na whatever code we write we don't create uh, we don't fetch that table in our power bi we always fetch the view because when the new incremental data comes and if import mode is there and if gateway schedule refresh is on automatically it will be inserted in that sql query a view query and after schedule refresh it will go in our power bi report also view always reflect the latest data that's the reason why views are made rather than uh, we fetch table in our power bi this is the most important one performance wise view can be slower due to query execution at run time but materialized view offer fast query performance because the data is pre computed and stored yes no doubt this is correct views are little bit slower and uh, materialized views are faster than theek hai but always remember these first two points are main no doubt three are main data storage views do not store data and materialized view do but uh, data freshness this is the most important thing views always reflect the latest data that's the reason why we always fetch view rather than tables in our power bi to make the reports theek hai guys these are the top 10 questions uh, which are asking uh, interview theory questions of sql and uh, hope you have understood if you have any kind of doubt make sure you are commenting and replying in one hour i will uh, reply that 
and follow us on social media especially instagram telegram and uh, if you are new on our channel subscribe and press bell icon for all upcoming videos thanks for watching till end thank you everyone